I have a friend that he from Ghana. He has on a heart. Then he put a Ghana flag, I think, somewhere here. Then we went to a party. I was chilling with my friend, and another Ghana guy came out from his car. He has on a short pants with the socks, but the socks is, I think, was American socks, something like that, American socks. And when he came, he, he started laughing. Then I asked him, what's going on? What's wrong? Why are you laughing at us? He said, no, he's not, he wasn't laughing at me, but he's laughing at the other brother. I said, why are you laughing at him? He said, man, this guy is a John, man. Why will he put American a Ghana flag over there? I said, oh, he has a Ghana flag? He said, yeah. I said, is that why he's stupid? That he's looking at me. I said, what kind of flags do you have? This guy have it just little on his ear, on the heart over here. But you have a socks. I think it's American flag or Jamaican flag. I can't remember. I said, you have a whole socks with the flags on. If you say this guy is stupid, then who are you? Are you American or are you Jamaican? This guy is so proud to be who he is. Why don't we, like, why won't you appreciate what somebody did? You're not American. Let's say, for instance, I have this Brazilian shirt. I bought it from Brazil. It's very expensive. Maybe I bought it for $100 or $200 and I put it on. And let's say Beyonce or Jay-Z or Lil Wayne have the same color, the same size, but he bought his over here in the United States. Maybe it's $50, maybe $30, maybe it's a free gift. You see, my own Ghana person will say, oh my God, I love this Jay-Z though, but you need to see the one that Jay-Z wear. He look, it look great in him. Like the quality, you can tell that his own is original. And I'll be like, what about mine? He said, no, come on, man. I didn't say yours is not good, but his own is kind of original. Do you think these niggas don't buy fake stuff? Do you think they always buy quality stuff because they're rich? No! These brothers manage the money. They don't want to be wasting money. All they think about is making more money, not spending money. If he spent a dollar, he want to get $3 back. They always think about how I'm going to save money. Every year they have a yearly or annually budget. They always want to save money. If he has been spending like $25,000 a year in gases, he want to cut the budget and spend about $20,000. Learn how to support our own. You know, we always downgrade ourselves. You know, you hate to see your brother or your sister looking good. You know, once you see somebody with your husband walking down the street, my sister, if you can comment something nice, do not degrade them. Do not insult them. It's so good to see your brother or your sister look good. Stop being hatred. Example number two, let's say we have a store, like Bronx, we have a lot of stores around, you know, my mother's, you know, have a lot of African stores around, a lot of Ghana stores, you know, all over the corner. And you're going to see a brother going to wake up from his house. It have a store right down the store, right there, like round down the block, you know, go down there and buy it. But no, he preferred the one. In Fordham, or he preferred the one in he preferred the one in Jersey, or he preferred the one in Connecticut. You know, he prefers something that is far from him. If you ask him why, no, you know, I know that this lady has the same menu, but the taste is different. I understand, you know, sometimes somebody cooks more better than other person, but help to make the the business grow. You know, go to her, let her know that listen. You have the same food as this woman does in Connecticut. But I think that woman making more customers than you, which means there are some things that you're missing in your, in your, you know, in your, like, in your ingredients. There are something that you've been missing that you didn't put in the ingredients. That's why her food tastes better than yours. But I think, you know, you should do better, you know, by, you know, adjusting it. Taste the food. Let her know the difference. That's how we help the business grow. Tell her. Your business, your food tastes good, you know. But I think that woman in Jersey makes it better because she has more rice in it. You know, she has spice in it. You know, let her understand the difference, what she likes. 
and she will appreciate it, you know. Not by going down there while you have food over there. You know, we always like to look, like, we always like to bring our people back. Bring our people back, you know. Example number three, let's say Ghana. Ghana have a lot of tailor stores, a lot of tailoring, like, all over the corner. You're going to see somebody right inside his house. It's have a shop that it's have a tailoring shop. And that owner of the tailoring shop could be his sister, could be his cousin, could be his brother's wife, something. But she is not his tailor. She, he will tell you, nah, that's not my tailor, man. Where is your tailor? Oh, my tailor is in New York, um, um, Newtown. You know, he has to take his, he has to take a cab or a drive or whatever to go to Newtown to go and fix, to go and to go to his tailor over there while he has a tailor right in his house. It's not because she doesn't sew good. Maybe, probably, she could be sewing better than that lady in Newtown, but he just don't want that woman to get his money. And without your money, she is still going to survive, but we got to understand that which your money makes the business grow. We're talking about the economy in Ghana. We keep talking about the economy in Ghana, but we're not buying Ghana products. Ghana products, most of the time, are fake. Yes, they are. But speak up. You know, speak up. Let them understand that you want to help the economy grow. These thieves that we have called the government or whoever we have, all these criminals, corrupted people, they steal the money in Ghana. If, like, they invest the money, create jobs in Ghana, you know, build businesses in Ghana, put money in the banks in Ghana, let people get loans in Ghana, the economy is going to be stabilized. But they will steal the money, go somewhere, all of them, most of them, about 99.9% .9 don't even have an account in Ghana. You know, they have accounts all over UK, America, Canada. Some of them have it in, in South Africa. You know, you can't do that. You help your economy. You help the economy grow. And the, the, company, the, the country, the economy of Ghana is not going to be stabilized without me and you. You know, without me and you. Stop downgrading the products of Ghana. You know, somebody, let's say for instance, I have this Jay-Z. You know, we have this, we have this jealousy. I don't know if we were made to be jealous or but I don't understand why, but why? You know, why why we like to be making a lot of competition to each other? You know, I have this cloth and she has the same cloth. Both of us bought the same cloth in the same store. The same person sold the same cloth to us. But my brother or my sister going to tell me her own is better than mine and hers is kind of a little bit quality. And, you know, if like, you know, they'll be like, Babs, I like this jersey though. You know, but if it's kind of like blue, it's going to look better. They'll be like, but why blue? I love yellow. Oh, you need to see what fatty have on. Blue. And that thing looks good. You don't do stuff like that. Yeah, what's up, bro? Is that your cab? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to um, Manhattan. You want to take me? He said, yeah. Okay, cool. You jump into the you jump, you jump into the cab. Maybe along the way, boom, 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 the cab stops. There is no gas. Help the brother. Take the can. Run. Go and get a gas. Put it in there and let the brother know. Listen, this is your business and this is what, this is what pays the bills for you in order to be a successful human being successful businessman you have to make sure that you have all the equipment ready before you hit the road you can be running with half gallons and half gallons and half, give him advice you know sometimes you take you want to do business with your friend your family members and they want to cheat you you are here hustling so hard you want to build house for your family a brother in Ghana or a sister in Ghana wanna eat the money, wanna 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 squash the money, wanna squander the money, wanna mess up your own your whole future. Instead of you going back, instead of you going forward towards your future and your plan, you're gonna be looking at where you wanna go, but you going behind. You know why? Because your family pulling you down. There's no person that find the easiest access to kill you is the. The only person that has the easiest access to kill you is the person that is close to you. And the people that are close to you are your family members, your close friends, 
the friends of your close friends, the family of your wife, the family of your husband, the friends of her friends. You know, that's how it is. Somebody has to, you know, people close to each other. Let us learn how to help each other to let the business grow. Let's keep the money in our community. All the money that we make, let's keep it in our community. Invest the money in our community. You can leave Ghana and go to Nigeria or Togo and go and get and go and get a contractor to come and build your house for you. Does it make sense to you? You can leave Ghana and go to China and go and get contractors to come and build bridges for us. We have contractors over there. When you go to ministries, you're going to see contractors all over, like from Malaysia. You know, come on, we have people that want to work. You can't leave the country to go somewhere else and bring... We can be... We're not stupid. It's not everybody stupid in the country. You have to understand that the people in Malaysia went to school before they got a degree to do what you asked them to do. In Ghana, we have people that are capable to do what you want them to do. You know? We should learn how to appreciate our own. You know, learn how to appreciate our own. Without you, the country is not going to be stabilized. I, have, I don't see a reason why we have oil. And the people like, oh man, this, this thing is crazy. When you go to airport, Kotoka International Airport, you're going to see the contractors mostly are foreign people. But Ghana, we have contractors. We have contractors and we're not used to building houses with wood and all kind of stuff. We build houses with bricks. And these people work with bricks. And you're going to save more money because these people are not that expensive like these foreign people. You will save more money and you get a quality job. But because we don't respect our own, we go and get somebody. Just, just one room or wherever in ministries, you're going to see millions, millions of people because these people, we have to get them visa we have to get them over here they're gonna sleep in a hotel we have to feed them morning afternoon and night and that feeding the hotel have to feed them and it's very expensive meal in ghana we pay this message by day double the price let them look good let them feel good you know let our own feel good you go to the airport you're gonna see like foreigners standing front while the citizens way back when citizen is coming, they'll tell you, no, sir, can you go back and let this guy come front? Why? Why would I have to go back? You know, why would I have to go back? Why can't you let this guy understand that you love our, your own first? Love your own first. Appreciate your brother. Love him. Whichever tribe, religion you come from, you have to appreciate your brother. Love your brother. Come on, man. Love your brother. You can see, like, most of the time you see Black Star playing against... Brazil or playing against Germany. A Ghanaian will tell you he's against Black Star. Why? Because I don't like Asamoja. Why don't you like him? Did he kill you? Did he kill any of your members of your family? Did he rob you? You have problem. Talk to this brother. Let him understand. This is how you're going to be successful. Talk to him. It hurts. You know, it hurts. We help each other. You know, we go out, we go out, you know, wherever you are, Europe, Germany, or wherever. All the money that you get, you bring it back home. Help to build Ghana. We can do it, Ghana. Forget about this president and this minister. Do not even pay attention to those people because those people want your money to eat. If you check the ministries, which of the ministries doesn't have a big stomach? Do you think it's because of the food? No. He has extra bank in his stomach. They have another bank. All the, what they think is money, 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 money. They're not thinking about getting the job done. You know? I'm going to say it, man. I'm going to say it. And I will keep saying it. You know? We should learn how to, you know, support our own, love our own. Let the person know that you love him. Do not smile on my face. And as soon as I turn my back... You start insulting me. You know, don't do that. You don't do that. God is watching you. You love somebody. You have to love that person from your heart. You know, you can't pretend you love somebody. You don't love me. Don't love me. But do not pretend you love me. You know? Okay. That's the piece of advice I got. You know? So, um, stay tuned for more videos because more of them are coming. All right. Salam alaikum.